The lives of old Tom Morris and his son, young Tom Morris, are the subjects of a new movie, Tommy's Honor, and Golfing World went behind the scenes at St Andrews. For me, the story of Tommy's Honor is multi-led. There is a certain synchronicity for me about this story, I mean, especially in Scotland. I grew up on a golf course with my father, and I really understand the relationship that Tom and Tommy have together. They both have a passion for the game, my father and I do. Then for me, as a father, I have a son who's trying to make his way in the world. And I really see how in the relationship between Tom and Tommy, Tommy is trying to make his way in the world. Some of the beautiful moments are Tom's pride in his young son's coming into himself, his growing strength, his growing confidence, his growing skills. Turn over. Be marker. Action. That young lad of yours will make a fine caddy one day. Thank you, sir. He's got that lovely generosity of spirit, which is you're proud of your son's achievements and not, you don't feel jealous of them. The other element that I love about this story is that it comes from the beginning. You have working class men who had a passion for a game that didn't have any history particularly, and that they were creating history, but they had no sense of this. They had no sense of their own legacy. All right, let's do a rehearsal. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 1873 Open Championship, Mr. Tom Kidd. So young Tommy was the first professional athlete of all time. He actually said, I want to be paid to play this game. And instead of a gambler giving him a little stipend to have him play for them, and he said, no, people are coming to watch me play, and I want to be paid for it. So gentlemen pay you to play golf. They put the stakes up for a match, hundreds of pounds like. Every golfer ought to tip his cap to Tommy Morris, the first touring professional, the man who invented that role. Readers, viewers, and fans will all respond to the idea that, oh, that's how the game came to be. I want to discuss the stakes for the match tomorrow. You have your role, and we reward you for it. If you want me to play in the match, then the money comes to me before we begin all of it. That would be ridiculous. It's time for a new arrangement, so. When they went out on the golf course, the crowd were almost pugilistic. They were surrounding the players. There wasn't this sense of, oh, these are sort of slightly untouchable people, or these are people that we should revere. It's an amazingly dramatic period, and it was very raucous. Uh, because, of course, the whole game came about because of on-course betting. In our film, you know, there is a very famous case in Musselboro where fighting broke out. My perception of golf is what I've seen on TV, of this incredibly manicured game. The fist fight breaks out in a golf match. And, OK, this is a very different world I haven't seen. And, in fact, Tom walked off the course to the local pub and they had a dram while they were waiting for the chaos to calm down. And for me, that's so visceral. These people were real working class men who were playing this game and they were loved and they were championed by their various towns. Play away. But they reckon people are going to come from all over just to watch the great Tommy Morris. If anybody can go out and actually play with a golf club that was created by old Tom, they'll realise how skilled those boys were. After the actual film itself was shot, we thought it would be fun and interesting to have world number one golfer Jordan Spieth and his father Sean take a stab at playing with the apparel and equipment from the Morris era. Hey, I'm Jordan Spieth. You may not recognize me today. I'm out here playing with hickory sticks and I've got my dad on the bag, or what you would call a bag. Let me see these three. Let me see these three. My first memory of St. Andrews is when we arrived into town. This was with the Walker Cup team, and everybody's eyes were wide open and checking out the intricacies of the home of golf. Now I know why they followed through like this. You can't <laughs> extend. The game of golf with its values and established in integrity, and it's a great game. Doesn't matter if it's a mother, son, father, son, two brothers, two sisters. All right, guys. Mulligan, start it over. It's I short can, of the hazard right here. I can right get here. it fairly quickly. You know, with us, you know, we really enjoyed going out there because we were competitive with each other, but we'd also be extremely supportive. And 
Uh, at least my dad was of me. I was always trying to, to kick his butt, but he was always okay. hoping that I would kick his butt in the end, uh, kind of secretly, yeah. which I thought was really cool. Shallow room. Good shot. Thank you. Tell me what the clubs feel like. What does it feel like trying to swing, swing that piece of wood? Uh, it's odd swinging with, I mean, you can imagine, especially in Scotland on rainy days, you know, without using a glove today or even the grips today, just using this, whatever the wrap is they put on this. You know, it doesn't go, doesn't go anywhere, but it just kind of drops off to the right too. So it's, because I hit that one maybe slightly off the toe and it shot it over this way and the first one was here and it shot it over that way. So hopefully we hit the middle and see what it does. Let's see what the approach, let's we'll right. see what you do with I with think it's probably version. the same club. This is a handicap all the way around. There's, uh, it keeps it more compact, but you lose uh, a lot of power and control. It's definitely a challenge. All in all, uh, it was very, very difficult to play in, and it, it, uh, I gained a, just a bit more respect for those guys back in the day to be able to do that. The joy for me is to start on day one with nothing, and then to finish however many years later, and be able to say, this is the story that I wanted to tell, and here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. The truth is, he was better than I. The ultimate winner of this prize is my very own son. Thomas Morris Jr.